Hi there, this is Shauna from The Foiled Fox, and I am here um, demonstrating Joyous Holiday. It is a new stamp and die set by Paper Tray Ink and Ink to Paper. And it has some really wonderful birds in it and some um, uh, that little half circle that helps you create a wreath and lots of little sprigs and sentiments. And then of course it has a matching die set that we'll be using that cuts out all of these little goodies. And then I'll also be using Folky Holiday. This is a set, a new set as well. And it has so many little elements in here that they just come useful in so many different ways. So I'm gonna start out with a piece of white cardstock. This is an A2 size. So four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm gonna take that half circle and uh, ink it up with new leaf ink. I am using all paper tray inks here. And I'm going to stamp this once and I'm going to ink it up again and I'm going to just create a circle. Once I have the circle as centered as I can make it, I'm going to also stamp it a few more times so that I'm going to stamp it kind of inside and outside to give it a little bit of a random look to it. So it has kind of an artsy feel to it. You won't see a lot of it, but the structure is there. It'll be very helpful and also it does peek through from here uh, every so often and you'll see what I mean as we add um, more components. With that done, I'm going to take using the Folky um, Holiday set, I'm using a long curved um, sprig here that has these leaves on it. I'm using Hawaiian Shores ink and I'm just stamping these going around and I'm um, wanting to just kind of fill out this wreath making sure that I stay all going in the same direction. If I go uh, in different directions, it ends up looking a little chaotic and uh, disjointed. So I want to make sure that I'm always staying. Uh, in my case, I went counter, uh, when I went clockwise, but you can certainly go counterclockwise if you'd like. Now using ripe avocado and this little curved um, sprig that has little berries at the end, I'm stamping these. Um, just a few times and then I'm going to take new leaf and I'm taking the pine sprig there is a small one and a large one in this set this is again in Folky um, Holiday and I'm using the larger one and this one's really going to be the stamp that's going to fill out this wreath it's really going to give it that fullness and you can stamp it as much as you like again keeping in going in the same direction I'm going in a clockwise direction but whatever suits you. I'm going to just stamp a few more here and there and get them down at the bottom as well. And then we'll move on to our um, next stamp, which is um, these little cluster of berries. I'm using pure poppy. And I'm just going, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not using the cluster yet. I'm using one of my favorites, which is the holly leaf. And this holly leaf I'm stamping with um, pine feather. And I'm not going to do too many of these. This is a strong color, so I don't want to stamp too many of these. It's just kind of an accent. And now we'll go to doing the little cluster of berries. There's a, um, a, a trio of berries in a cluster, and I'm just stamping those with pure poppy. With that done, I'm going to take an R32 Copic marker. You can use any marker you'd like. It's kind of a pinkish red. And I'm filling in those little berries that we had stamped that sprig that I told you had little berries at the end. And I'm just filling those in. Again, it's just adding interest. We're just adding layer upon layer to give it some depth. Now I'm going to stamp these adorable birds onto a piece of uh, white cardstock. I'm stamping it with pure poppy, but then I'm gonna go on and I'm going to use some Copic markers and color it in. I'm going to start out and you can see the list of them there. I'm starting out with R0000. And I'm just gonna kind of color those in. And then I'm going to go from light to dark. Um, the uh, R20 would be next, and then on to the R32. And my um, then I'm going to use a red, which is R17, and then the darkest color is the R39, but you can see all the colors listed there. They're also in our supply list, which you can find by just uh, clicking the link down below. 
and it'll take you right there along with some close-ups and um, lots more inspiration. And so I'm just kind of um, going in and putting in these dark shaded areas with the R39. And I kind of go back and forth. I put in the dark color and then I'll take uh, the one of the lighter colors and then just kind of smooth it out, kind of blend it out. It blends the colors that way. And you can see I'm leaving the little faces, a little part of it white because that's the reflection of the sun. Um, that I want to keep their little faces a little bit white. It makes them more a little bit more interesting, I think. Like I say, I'm just going to go back and forth with these different colors, um, blending them out with the lighter colors after I add in the um, dark colors. And then I'll take the matching die set and cut out the birds. Here they are, all cut out. And I'm just kind of positioning there. I'm not finished with my wreath yet, but I just wanted to get an idea. I'm using some anti-static powder and I'm stamping those, uh, those that trio of berries again with some Versamark ink because I'm going to use some um, gold embossing powder. I'm adding uh, just a little bit of sparkle by doing this and I'll heat emboss those. So each of these little elements just add more depth to your wreath. And you can add as much or as little as you want. Now with my panel taped down so it doesn't move around and I know it's straight, I've taken Peace and Love, this wonderful sentiment from the um, Joyous Holiday, and I'm stamping this in the center. That will be my sentiment. And I use Pine Feather to do that. Now I'm taking some Harvest Gold ink along with a, a few of these um, star stamps. And I'm just going to stamp them here and there as well. And I'm mainly just stamping them so that it gives me a guideline. Because I'm going to go back in with my Fine Tech Gold Metallic Paint. And I'm going to paint them in. This actually just stamps that... Um, outline of them but I wanted to, to add a little bit of subtle sparkle and I love these paints they're wonderful paints they go from silver to a deeper gold I'm using one of the deeper golds and I just spritz some water into the pot and I'm just keep blending until I get a nice creamy um, blend of color onto my brush and this is an itty bitty little brush that I'm using and I'm painting these in It's a little bit delicate work, but there's only a few of them, so it's not too bad. And it just adds that, like I say, that little bit of a, a subtle sparkle. Get those last ones just painted. As you know, I always fiddle a little bit. And I want to make sure that I get really good coverage with my um, paint there. With that done and dry, I've taken some metallic gold. This is um, a cotton thread, um, and you'll see it in the supply list, and I've wrapped it around a couple of times. I'm going to tie a knot and so that I can keep it nice and taut while I tie a bow. Now, usually, um, my daughter is so good at tying bows, much better than me, and I usually have her tie it, but she is not here right now, so I, you're just going to have to put up with me tying a bow. I'm going to tie this bow and then cut off the little ends because it'll just be um, and then it's, so that's all cut off and I'm taking some foam and um, a foam panel and putting it to the back of this and then adding some more of um, the double stick tape but I was going to stick it down to this green panel but I think first I'm going to I have a red card base here that's out of pure poppy card stock and then I'm taking a pine feather a panel that's slightly smaller. I love that pine feather color. It's so deep and rich. And then I'm going to add on this wreath panel right on top. Now all we have to do is add these little birds with a little bit of foam tape. And then we're going to be all done with this and just always have to position it just right. But um, there we go. It's all done. And I just it just gives you a really festive look. And those birds just, I think, really make it. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this project. I always enjoyed making wreaths. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'd be over the moon if you would do that. 
And here I've used Joyous Holiday, Folky um, Holiday, and some various paper tray inks. But go over and see and, and click the link down below to see more of the supply list. And again, thanks so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.